All right, today we're going to talk about multiplication, and yesterday we started talking about it, but today we're going to go into a little more depth about multiplication and learn about what it is. So let's first look at this really long word. This is such a long word. It has so many letters on it. So what's the word? Multiplication. Very good. Multiplication is just like adding. It's just like adding because we're going to take some numbers and we're going to add them together. We're going to take small groups of numbers, and these groups of numbers are going to have to be equal. Right now, I want us to use equal groups. Can anyone tell me what three numbers I might be able to use that are equal groups? Tell me something, Kyrie, that I can use. Three numbers that are equal. Four plus four. Uh huh. Plus four. Very good, Kyrie. Four plus four plus four. Now I'm going to show you today how you can change this problem right here into a multiplication problem. What we do, I know some of you already have learned about multiplication. We take these numbers and I'm just going to circle each number and see how many fours I have. Okay? I have one, two, three. So I have three fours. All right? So I'm going to write the number three. Now I'm going to tell you what the multiplication symbol is, and it looks just like this X up here with the fox doing a jumping jack. So I'm going to write the X like that, three, and we say times. Just like here we say four plus four plus four, here we say three times. Now, the next number I'm going to put, I have three groups, one, two, three. Three times four, so I'm going to say, 3 times 4 equals, and we already solved it, 3 times 4 equals 12. 12. And these are the same. 3 times 4 means 4 plus 4 plus 4, and 4 plus 4 plus 4 means 3 times 4. Does anyone think they might know another way I can write 3 times 4? There's a property that we learned about with adding that means I can change my numbers and flip them around. Brianna Warner, can you tell me another way I could write 3 times 4? The commutative property. And what does the commutative property tell me I can do? Very good. Can you tell me what those numbers are? Uh-huh. Very good. You thought about that sign. That says time. Good. Very good. And can I put that equal sign on the other side? Does it have to be at the end? Yes. 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 No. It doesn't have to be at the end. I can put this equal sign, I can erase this right here, and I can put it on either side, remember? Commutative property tells me that I can switch these numbers. Four times three is the same as three times four. That's exactly right. Okay, let's come look over here, and I want to show you a word problem that uses some of your names. So let's see who is going to be used. Look at Kyrie's great, great active listening. Okay, so we're going to multiply, and I'm going to need some volunteers after this is done. Look up here. Remember the story that we read, Three Little Kittens, earlier today? In this story, we saw three cats. One, two, three. And each of these cats had two mittens. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right? So we are going to take each of the mittens and put them on our chart. We see two for the black cat, so I put two. One, two. Ooh. Now two for the orange cat, one, two. And then two for this kind of yellow cat, one, two. Now we all should very easily know how much they have together. So we're going to skip count all together and see how much they have. We start with zero, zero mittens, and then two, four, six. Very good. So we know the answer. That's pretty easy. We know the answer is six. I'm going to show you another word problem. Jairon using his name, Brianna's name, and Sequoia's name. So look up here. Jiron has two books. These are gonna, we're not going to use mittens anymore. We're going to pretend like you have books. Brianna has two books, and Sequoia has two books. My question is, how many books do they have in all? This is a word problem, just like you do when you write your own word problems. And look, what do you see about in all? What do we usually do when you see in all? What, what symbol do we usually use when you see in all? Count up. Yeah, and what's that? Very good. You add and you count up when you see in all. That's exactly right, Elijah. High five. So, in all is exactly right. And we see the answer six. This word problem can be done with multiplication. Does anyone have an idea what our problem might be? Think for, for a second. 
what might we be using for, for this word problem if we're doing multiplication? Let's take a look. I see an ice and frames thing. Look. We have 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. I just rewrote it from the top. Now, I'm doing the same thing I did over there. I circle the 2, I circle the 2, and I circle the 2. How many groups do I have? How many groups of cats or groups of books do I have? Let's see who's sitting so nicely with their hands. Thank you, Ison. How many groups? Good job. Okay, so let's look and see what they're doing. Wow, I tried to trick Sequoia. And look over here. Let's give Sequoia a big round of applause, please. I want to think and see if we can make the multiplication problem and if we can draw the picture that goes with it so that we can see if we know how to do it. Amir, I want you to come up here. Very good. I like what I, what I see Amir doing. I like what I see Brianna doing. If they're making any mistakes, we need to make sure that we're helping them. 